<laughs> Who's ready to party? Woo! Mushrooms? <laughs> Welcome back to Allie Can Cook featuring Mama McManus. Hi, I'm Mama McManus. And I'm Allie. And on today's episode, we're going to be showing you guys how to make stuffed spicy portobello mushrooms. That's right. So we kind of showed you guys how to make a breakfast here at our farm, which is our friend pancakes. Yeah, a snack with the cauliflower and today, dinner. Yes. So we hope you guys enjoy this recipe. And yeah, if you want to see how to make these portobello mushrooms, keep watching. First thing that you want to do when you're prepping for these portobello mushrooms Cut is up any vegetables that you want to put in them. So what we're going to be using today is some red pepper, green pepper, red onion, and yellow onion because we Basically, like onions. Yeah, we do. And basically, it's just stuff that we have left over that we need to use up. Yeah. So this is a good way to use up food that um, you're worried that might go bad. So we're just cutting it all up. Anything that looks mushy, just cut it up and you put it to the side. But the main thing is not to waste what you've got in your fridge. Yeah. It's really important. And also too, with these, we're just cutting up enough vegetables to stuff two portobello mushrooms. So just gauge it by your portion size and how many people you're planning on serving. You cut the ingredients out really small because we're going to be using it as stuffing into the portobello. So now that we have our vegetables chopped up finely, we are going to pan fry them on medium heat until they are cooked through in some coconut oil on our stove. you make these stuffed spicy portobello mushrooms. As you can see, it's very easy and simple and a great way to use up all the leftover vegetables in your fridge. And fabulous way to, to serve someone something other than meat. Yeah, and one other thing that my mom was saying is that you could probably get some... Oh, you could get some uh, vegan cheese. I think that would just be perfect. A little yeah. bit of cheese on top and um, it would be really yummy. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have it. <laughs> we didn't have it. Well, we're at the farm. All right, we're gonna dig in now. Okay, here we go. It's gonna be your dinner. Apple, this is tasty dinner. Mmm, are they good? Oh, they're tasty. Mmm. Oh, really good. good. And the peppers we put in there, the hot mm -hmm. spicy peppers. There's a little bit of a kick. Gives it a kick. Delicious. Yeah, definitely. Add some cheese on this, some vegan cheese. Mm -hmm. A glass of white wine. Oh yeah. Which I do have in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> but, but these are really yummy. Simple. Super fast, yeah, simple, easy to make. Yeah. And especially if you have leftover peppers. Like we didn't use full peppers, so we'd had half a pepper, mm -hmm. we had a little bit of onion, and we just made it up. So yeah. it's really yummy. 
So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe, we make new videos every single Thursday. This is our last video, I think, in this kitchen at the farm because our vacation's coming to an yeah, end. that's true. But anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye guys. Hey guys. Come on down. We're gonna do whatever. What? Look, I'm hard.